Live from our seven Tasmania studios, your nightly news with Michael Maney begins now. Launceston General Hospital continues to grapple with low staff numbers in its emergency department as those on the front line become increasingly concerned. The health department says it's business as usual as it explains the roles which are exempt from future job cuts. One of our largest hospitals, described as a war zone, reports the emergency department at the LGH had just 15 nursing staff rostered on, 10 short of the minimum. If there was a catastrophic incident, uh, you know, multiple vehicle accident or anything of that kind, that they wouldn't have been able to cope. The acute staff shortage and delay in deploying agency staff impacting services there had to be uh, beds closed um, and clearly that is just insufficient. The health department is blaming unexpected leave for the shortage but says there's enough for the member of patients receiving care. You can't say things are closed because they're not used if there's no patients to go into them. Meanwhile, the department says there are some roles that will be exempt from cost-cutting measures. There is a process within nursing called the nursing hours per patient days process, which means that's the level that we should be staffing our wards. That process doesn't go through vacancy control. Any uh, positions, nursing, movie free that fall outside of that model, whether it be for a project position or research position, uh, will not be exempt from the scrutiny of the vacancy control committee. It's completely unacceptable to know that frontline staff or any staff are at risk in a health system. The health system relies on every job to be filled. With those in the LGH's ED hunkering down, with staff shortages expected to continue tomorrow and into next week. They did absolutely feel that they've just been left by government, by uh, you know, executive management uh, to deal with this issue themselves, an issue that is not of their own making but one that they've had to face. Lily Thompson, 7 Tasmanian News. Mortgages have hit record highs across the country. Recently released figures by Rate City showing Tasmanian home buyers are forking out almost $25,000 more for a loan than this time last year. Meanwhile, a new report by InfoTrack has revealed one in ten people are struggling to even find a home to buy. The number one area of concern, finding a home within budget. The study found two-thirds of respondents were satisfied with their home right buying now, experience. If you're looking for a price point and an affordability level, you've obviously got to make probably some um, discussions around that. Pinball fans have been out in force, rolling into day one of the state's largest festival dedicated to the pastime. Hundreds reliving the nostalgia and trying their luck for the unique event which raises vital funds for sick children. Pinball pandemonium. For the, trap door. the arcade favourite back in all its glory. With the lights and the sounds, it's it going it. really well. There's happy faces. From the old school classics to the newest whiz bang games. A record 60 finger flipping machines flicked on for Tazpin's third games. There's a pinball for everyone out there. There's everything from space themes to cartoon themes. This weekend sessions a sellout. Up to 600 people with their flippers at the ready, living in kingpin heaven. Just following the ball like a cat, you know. There is a little bit of skill involved with pinball. There's a lot of luck. The more you play, the better you get. Many masters of the lost art taking a trip down memory lane. Others trying their luck with the silver ball for the first time. We get everything from the young to right through to the old and they come just to get an experience I normally wouldn't. And there's plenty to play for. The event doubling as a major fundraiser for a cause close to the Tassie Pinball Mafia's heart. The end game is to give back to the community and we do that by supporting the 4K Children's Ward Auxiliary at the LGH. A cash and pinball bonanza. Victoria Risto, 7 Tasmania News. It's been a weekend of wallopings in the TSL with three clean sweeps as we look toward finals. Round 17 taking on extra significance, raising awareness for spinal cord injuries and paralysis. 
Coming off a 48-point thrashing last week, it was the Bombers who needed to redeem themselves. Despite missing star midfielder Sam Siggins out with a broken ankle, it didn't seem to dampen any moods as they took hold of the Pies in the first half. Looking to make certainty of this goal, spins around on the right. Blackburn with his first. Back in red and black, former Signet coach Thor Boscott made his presence known. He has his third. This one's starting to blow a little bit out of proportion for the Pies. The Pies unable to keep up, going down by a whopping 84 points. Across the Derwent ladder leaders, North Launceston came out firing against the cellar dwellers. Marking contest off the back, Declan Chug, five goals last week and a goal already here in the first 13 seconds to Declan Chug. Despite best efforts from the home side, the pressure from the Bombers proved too difficult to handle, winning 130 to 45. Rainbow in the background, Rivers, Rivers kicks towards goal. Matthews takes a good grab, turns around and kicks a goal. Meanwhile, fresh legs after a bye. Clarence also proving too strong for Launceston. Jared Harper. Again, the goal umpire does not move. Dead eye straight from one of the more reliable kicks in the competition. Things going from bad to worse for the Blues. Gives young Noonan a chance for his third of the afternoon. He makes no mistake. It's another one for the Ruse. The 118 points smashing a major blow, marking Launceston's 10th consecutive loss. Rebecca Gadineris at 7, Tasmania News. The Devonport Strikers continue to cement their top spot in the WSL, taking out Launceston 4-1 in round 17. Meanwhile, the Kingborough Lions have reversed last week's bad fortune, dominating their host Riverside Olympic and taking out a huge 15-1 victory. And South Hobart's title chances are still alive after trouncing Taruna 4-0. As the race for finals in the Tasmanian Hockey Premier League heats up, Derwent's proving hungry for glory, defeating second-placed Diamondbacks 2-0 in round 16. The strikers notching up this impressive penalty corner shot only minutes into the first quarter. The OHA women are building momentum, sitting in third place with their finals prospects looking bright. After taking out Canterbury, a strong defensive line helped secure a 2-0 victory. All teams looking to put their best foot forward with only four rounds left to go in the season. Good evening. I hope you're enjoying your weekend so far. Hobart, Launceston and Burnie all 15 today. Devonport 14. 15 reported at St Helens and Friendly Beaches. 14 also for the islands. Smithton, Bushy Park and Strawn. Lowhead, Mariah Island and Grove 13. And 7 the high today for Liawini. High cloud resulting from a frontal band slowly cleared the northeast and upper east coast today with partly cloudy skies seen about central parts. A frontal cloud band is moving over southern Victoria, Bass Strait and about parts of northeastern Tasmania. Tomorrow a weak cold front will cross the state as a ridge shifts over the south of the continent. West to northwesterly winds 15 to 25 knots, increasing to 30 knots about the west with swells nearing 3 metres. A strong wind warning has been issued for coastal waters between Tasman Island to Low Rocky Point. Partly cloudy for Hobart and Richmond tomorrow, 14. A few showers for Ooze with 13 there. A shower or two towards the north, Launceston and Devonport, 14. Clearing showers for Deloraine, 13 to the top. 13 and showers for Burnie and Strawn, 14 and showers also for Curry. 15 and partly cloudy skies for St Helens and Swansea. A shower or two for Whitemark, expecting 14. Monday, showers likely about the west, far south and Bass Strait Islands with a possible morning frost for the north. Tuesday, showers about the west, extending to the north in the afternoon, then statewide later. And Wednesday, showers persisting in the west, far south and Bass Strait Islands, otherwise mostly fine elsewhere. Developing showers in Adelaide tomorrow 15, possible showers for Broome 28, fine in Perth 19, a sunny day ahead for Melbourne with 15 the maximum. And mostly clear conditions right now. Hobart 8 degrees, Launceston and Devonport with 9. And I'll see you again tomorrow, Michael. Look forward to that, Kyle. Well, that's all your news for now. Thanks for joining us from everyone here at 7 Tasmania. Have a lovely evening. Good night.